Morning everybody! I don't know why I say morning everybody. It's morning here at the minute when I'm filming this, but I thought some people watch this at night, so it might be night time. So I might start saying hello everybody. But anyway, I digress. What is the story? Morning glory. Well, as you can see as I come out the trees, don't know. Glorious sunshine today, not a cloud in the sky. Even though it is a little bit chilly, still got my jumper on. It's not the warmest, but um, fingers crossed today it looks good for combining. So if you caught the video yesterday, it's 14, seven last night, which means we it's a bit damp this morning when I got up. So we should, hopefully the sun will burn that off and we should be combining today. That is the plan. So I'm now on the way to go and, well the combine's all ready to go. I just got to put some new air filters in, um, in the combine because they collapsed if you remember correctly and I got replacements. And, and then we're gonna go and have a test and have a go. That is the idea. Farmer Clive's not here at the minute. He is loading a lorry for barley down his place. Um, and then hopefully we'll get going early. That is the plan. I need to come and grab a trailer back here. We need two trailers on the go today. Because we're carting back from, not a great distance, but I can't keep the combine going myself. So by the time I tip in the shed, push up and get back again, he stops. So we're gonna have a uh, trailer stone on the headland so we can tip into that at the end of the field. And then we'll, uh, yeah, hopefully keep it going. Well, that is the plan anyway. Whether or not we continue to do that, I don't know. We'll find out. So, let's go and get the combine. Well, first, actually, I'm going to write on those barrels, uh, engine and back end also, Farmer Clive. Don't get it wrong. So that's the first job, and then I'm going to go down to the combine. So the big job has been completed. I have writ on, wrote on the uh, cans. So we've got engine oil and back end oil. So I've got separate cans for the separate oils. I also writ on the barrel. And I think it's all spelt correctly anyway. That's good enough for me. And I guarantee, like I said in the other video, these cans here, I can see, are going to go missing. And my prime suspect will be Farmer Clive. I guarantee you he'll look at these and go, oh, I want to drop something in there. And then use these. So I am debating whether to get some retractable dog leads and tie them to the tin and the uh, pitcher so he can only go so far with them before it drags him back with them. So take one good look at these because these are probably the last time you're going to see them looking clean, in shape, because these no doubt are gonna get run over or misplaced or misused. Guarantee you. So last minute prep, the sun is still out. Just filling up the combine with diesel. As you can see, Farmer Glide's off to go and blow the header down. This is a very rare sight as well, so we're just zooming on that. We're not gonna see this again. Farmer Clive actually do blowing the combine down. It doesn't happen. So yeah, hopefully the sun's gonna stay out. Just gonna wipe the windows down so Farmer Clive can see what he's doing. And we are away. I just got to take a, go and get a trailer, aren't I? That's another thing I'll do. So yeah, we're still okay at the minute. How's it going, Farmer Clive? Well, as you can see, not the best idea without having to pull the suit on or something. See, most people would have said, uh, when you've done that, when you put the header on, and then you can get in everywhere, down the field, which we probably should have done. Well, it, it was rape seed I wanted to get rid of. I don't want to plant rape in the field with not every rape. So, it's got to strip off the yeah. earth. Right, we're going to hang the camera there. So we decided to drop the trailer. We'll go back to get the trailer. We decided to drop the header off uh, in the field because we're literally going by it with an empty tractor. So that makes a lot more sense than, than waiting and then going by the field, if you like. So now I can go back to the yard, get the trailer, and then come straight down the field. And hopefully we're going to get going. The sun is shining. The bar looks right, you can hear it like crisping a little bit, which is a good sign, which means that um, it's drying out. I have brought the tester with me, so I thought we'd just give it a quick test uh, to see if we are getting close, and then uh, hopefully, if we are, we'll have a go. So, let's find out how soon it's gonna be. Fifteen six. Well, that uh, that surprised me. That really has. I thought it was going to be a bit less than that. I thought it was going to be nearly fifteen, if not fourteen seven, like it were last night. But um, no, nah, I don't. I don't believe that. Let's do it again. Much gone up. 
Ah, there we go. I didn't push the thing in properly. The card weren't the card weren't in properly. You swap this. Uh, I don't know, you can see they swap this card here for different crops. It wasn't quite fully connected. It now says ba -ba -da -ba, fifteen seven. That's the same. So, as the old saying goes, if it's like this and it's hot, it's a percent an hour. So we should be going one more hour. Should be. Sun shining, we gave it an hour. We are now going to go. No need for the tester, we're going in for it. Just gotta put the satellite navigation on the combine because Farmer Clive, as you know, he doesn't like driving stuff. And then, well, let's get into it. Day, I can't remember what day it is now. We're over, what, day 11 of harvest, I think it is. We're actually gonna do some cutting. Here we go. Another one bit the dust, as you can see. Farmer Clive has just finished off his lunch. There's no sense of urgency about Farmer Clive for this year. I don't know why. So, once again, we have to now stand as a header on the header trailer, move the combine, and then get these two trailers back home to the next field. Now, when we're doing this, I like to think of this like, uh, you know that game where you've got the fox, the chicken, and the chicken feed? And this is, Farmer Clive's just chewing down his ready salty crisp. Right. Yeah, they are really solid. So uh, yeah, it's like that. It's like that game. We have to work out how you're going to get across the river, but don't leave the uh, the fox, or the chicken, or the eater, or the chicken with the with the with the grain. So that is what we tend to do in harvest. There's a lot of logistics thinking and forward thinking to make sure we've got the right thing in the right place at the right time. Find the place where we're going to put this thing back on. Yeah, that's the gateways and get into the fields are not yeah, built that's for thing. a thirty-five foot. Well, the is 45 foot long, it's 10, draw about 10 foot long. So you have to think a little bit ahead there. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do, and that's what's coming up next. Go around to lock the pins. Well, it's going to be a little bit smoother than that was. waiting because the sun's just setting so I thought that'd be a lot cooler um, to get a bit more uh, videos of the combine instead of normally but the sun's in the background but there's a little bit of a noise been developed at the front area here we're not sure whether it's the perfect amount of soil that's been collected because this barley is let's be honest flat to the mat without a party hat because we're not partying with this stuff uh, the chains are slightly run out of running out of line so uh, that could be the case. So fingers crossed, we're just gonna clean this out and have another look. Don't you worry, folks. We'll be back up and running in a minute because it's Farmer Jordan. It's Farmer Jordan. He's not got his shorts. He's in jeans. Don't worry, folks. We have the professionals on the case. So 
So that, ladies and gentlemen, was Farmer Jordan. That was Farmer Jordan. He came and stopped, but a bit which he didn't. So he has sorted out our problems. It was a loose chain, wasn't it? There we go. The man, Fountain of Lies, is mechanics, Farm Jordan. Say goodbye, Farm Jordan. Oh, he's not listening. So, Farmer Jordan was uh, just winching a bit ago because I didn't say thank you. So, thank you very much, Jordan, for mending my cop He's going to do that part. No, he missed it. So, thank you once again, Jordan, for coming down and mending my cop He's one of the best mechanics in the world. So it's Farmer Jordan. Now. It's Farmer Jordan. He's off. Say hey, goodbye, Farmer Jordan. Oh, don't go anywhere. I'm on So, once again, the moisture has beaten us. Uh, it's got a bit chewy again. But on the plus side, the shed is filling up quite nicely with barley. So there's a bit more to come back, uh, come in here anyway. So that should fill up. A bit more. Shame it's not filling up a bit quicker, but there we go. So the grand total of today was drum roll, bum ba da bum. We're done a 14 acre, and I reckon we've done about 20 out of the 28 acre. So we've got eight acre left to do there. So whatever that add that together is what we've done today, which again isn't the magic 100 mark. Today's probably one of the better days we've had. Again, we're not doing the best crop. We're really not doing the best crop. Flat barley. Uh, if anyone does combine, I know if so you say flat barley, that's it. They're laughing, so that's why we didn't do that much uh, combining. But never mind. We should crack on tomorrow. This talk's been a good day tomorrow, so fingers crossed we will continue cutting at a very faster pace tomorrow, a bit look. And I'm so dusty. So all that's left to say is Farmer Clive's getting his vehicle. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Can't see Farmer Clive. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the episode. If you uh, did like it, you can tell your friends, family, whoever else wants to listen, to watch. That's all I have to say is, uh, it must be getting warmer because I ain't going home, home in my jumper. I'm taking it with me. Or maybe jumper, I can't be able to carry it. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that. The only thing left to say is, see you later, Farmer Clive. Oh, look, there's mummy farmer in the background. His mother waits to take that home. Because <laughs> he's trying to work out the most complicated logistics plan in the world for tomorrow. You always plan ahead. Then, then, then you can plan when things do not. If you want to overcomplicate a plan, Farm Clive's your man. Right. <laughs> anyway, it's enough of rambling. Also, say, see you later, Farm Clive. Bye. See you all again.